Hey guys, my name is Sanjay and welcome to the Engineer Wannabe YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a special watch. I mean, they're all kind of special, aren't they? Um, but uh, I'm excited about this one. It's a different Grand Seiko box. Usually with uh, my more recent Grand Seiko unboxings, I've been skipping the unboxing and just showing you guys the watch. But this is different. Um, maybe that'll clue uh, you in as to what this watch might be. Also, you probably read the title, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, before I get started, I just want to say that you are infinitely valuable. I hope you know that a great price has been paid for you and, and you're precious and you're worth it. Um, and a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a uh, Rolex Milgauss lent in by a very dear friend of mine. Um, I don't uh, deserve such kindness. Uh, thank you, Marcus. You are uh, you're the best. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Melgas, one of my favorite, one of, one of my favorite Rolexes. Uh, I didn't think I'd say that, but yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, Marcus has a bigger wrist, clearly. <laughs> uh, okay, unboxing. So, um, this is a longer box than normal. Usually with Grand Seiko, you've got a cube, uh, cube of a box. Uh, that said, the rice paper is the same here you open the box and you pull the rice paper up to get this box out underneath are a bunch of goodies here uh, we've got the instruction manual and uh, this is a certificate um, detailing the well there's a guarantee here as well and there's a certificate under there with the movement and uh, it details the uh, specific movements um, performance performance and it's a guarantee as well and uh, here is the warranty card I'm gonna leave that out because I have to register the warranty um, apparently you have to register it to get your full five years um, and an extra strap calfskin strap got all the hang tags there all right so moving on to the main event here with the rice paper Another rectangular box, which is unusual, and you got this little oven mitt-like thing to protect the watch. And under there is the magnificent SBGW295. Um, so this is a hand-painted Urushi lacquered macchie dial, um, and it is incredibly crisp inky deep uh, Urushi lacquer. It's it's really, really beautiful. I'm going to zoom in a little. It's hard to, to capture because it uh, almost seems like it's so deep that it causes a lot of reflections. So hard to capture, but it is beautiful. I, I hope I'll be able to... Oh, it's me. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to um, do it some sort of visual justice in uh, in my review. Um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful watch. 9 is 64 movement, nothing uh, special there. I mean, it's a, it's a special movement, but um, something we've seen many, many times. The case of this watch is a brilliant hard titanium, uh, which is Grand Seiko's uh, proprietary grade 5 titanium that is not just grade 5 titanium, but something a bit more special. Uh, looks like what appears to be a grade 2 titanium clasp, deployant clasp. This leather strap is very interesting because it is leather interwoven with nylon. Um, so uh, samurai armor used to be made out of this stuff. It feels really, it feels like a reptilian uh, leather, like an, a crocodile or, or a lizard. Um, does not feel like nylon. I mean, it has a nylon aesthetic as well, uh, or nylon feeling here close to the lugs. Uh, very interesting leather underside, of course. It's just uh, calfskin. And uh, it's very comfortable. I am looking forward to putting this on all sorts of straps. Black and gold uh, tends to go with a lot of, a lot of different uh, material. Um, let me throw this on the wrist. Uh, while talking about the dimensions, the only dimension I have on hand, actually, let me go get my calipers. 
Okay, old school plastic analog calipers. Um, if you don't know how to read analog calipers, you're gonna have to trust me on the measurements here. So diameter coming in at, well, that's interesting, 37. Let's see, well, oh, 37, 37.8, I wanna say, uh, so yeah, 38 is accurate. 37.8 lug to lug here is 45 point what would that be 45.5 yeah 45.5 thickness is 10 point uh, 10.4 I'm gonna say 10.4 Lug width we know is 19. I'm not gonna measure that. So, yeah. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters, although I'm starting to doubt that nowadays because um, possibly I'm possibly losing some weight. Um, I'll have to remeasure my wrist again. Uh, but right now, it's also winter. But that's it on my, what I believe to be a 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It does wear larger than that 38 would suggest. I would say it wears closer to a 40. Uh, the lugs don't curve down as much. Let me show you. Down the barrel shot, as Mr. Masa would call it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say it wears like a 40. But it is a 38. Um, so yeah, that's the watch. The SBGW295. It's a special watch celebrating 110 years of Seiko, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, wait, I have I have the hand tag here somewhere. Let's see what it's. Oh, um, something interesting about this box is uh, it's got compartments. So you got this cushion like thing that comes off, and there is an actual cushion in here, which is interesting. So you got two ways you can store this watch. You can store it um, inside here on this cushion and I guess keep this somewhere safe or you can store it flat the way the watch came and in here you got uh, two compartments to store whatever you like so you got options um, but let me find those hang tags which I believe are in here uh, got it so there, celebrating 110 years of watchmaking. And it's a limited edition piece of uh, 500 pieces, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 100 of which stayed in Japan. Oh, it would have been really cool to get one of the first 100 pieces. Um, yeah, I'm really thrilled about this. I, I honestly didn't think I'd get one, but I did fall in love when I saw it. Black and gold's really nice. And hand-painted Urushi enamel. Um, if you look at right at the hand stack, you can see some of the character of, uh, of the enameling. Uh, you can see a little dimple there, a little divot from where the, uh, not the enamel, sorry, uh, the lacquer um, leaking out of that uh, hole in the middle, I'm guessing. It's, uh, it's a beautiful little detail or a side effect of the Urushi lacquer. <laughs> anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this unboxing let me know if you have any questions about this watch and i will be sure to review it in a couple of months time when i've had a good chunk of time with it ha time all right take care everyone remember you're infinitely valuable i'll see you soon bye everyone